All right, former NFL O lineman, now a Fox Sports Radio weekend host, our man Ephraim Salam. What's up, man? What's happening, brothers? Look, How before you? we get to the NFL, I know you want to talk NBA. You're a Lakers fan. Uh, are you cautiously optimistic about what you see from AD and the Lakers, or, or what's your thinking? No, I'm, I'm very cautiously optimistic. I'm excited to actually watch the games now. I, you know, those, those first 12 games of the, uh, of the season, I, I didn't want any parts of the Lakers. They just didn't seem like they were anybody was on the same page. And, you know, with the health of AD and the way he's playing, like I tell you this, I know this is a big if. But if he can stay healthy and he plays like this for the rest of the year, he'll be the MVP of the league. He could. He's we got playing a long great, way to but, go. Yeah, uh, he's gonna stay healthy. This is know, how he should have been playing since the championship. He actually went a little bit backwards. Now he's you know getting to where he really should be playing. But we'll see. We'll see if they can keep it up. But uh, let's go to the NFL. Um, the Niners. Uh, some people thought they they might get Baker Mayfield. And, and obviously now the news is Jimmy G could be back for the playoffs. I think but that's what, optimistic. What, what is your take on how they're going to be over the rest of the regular season with Brock Purdy? Look, they, they Kyle Shanahan knows exactly what he has in Brock, Brock Purdy. He's like Brock Purdy since they drafted him with the final pick in, in, in the draft uh, this past season. And so they're set up to be successful no matter what. Their defense is under. They've given up seven points in the second half of football games in, what, the last five, six weeks? You can win with that. You, right? like, you can win with that type of effort, and all they need this, this, this young man to do is this is a great opportunity for him, right? You want to become uh, relevant and, and not Mr. Irrelevant? Then all you have to do is guide this ship into the playoffs and play well, don't turn the ball over, and he's, he's created an entire career for himself. Uh, Ephraim, uh, really? That, that's how easy it is? Just don't turn the no, ball over? I mean, I mean, Ephraim, I mean, what, I wish we could replay what you just said. That Mr. Irrelevant is just going to take the helm of the 49ers. That they don't need Jimmy G. Every other quarterback who's, who's played for Shanahan with your formula that you just talked about and pl- putting any quarterback in. They have a terrible record when Jimmy G's not in there, and now you're telling me that Brock Purdy's going to win the Super Bowl because of everything else they have. At some point, Ephraim, hold on, hold on. At some point, you need a quarterback to make a play. That's why they were upset at Jimmy G because he couldn't make the play that they needed him to make in the Super Bowl, right? I mean, come on, Ephraim, to just say that Brock Purdy's there and they're just going to continue to roll, it sounds ridiculous to me. Yeah, well, that's because you didn't hear what I said. What you just got on the radio and said, you repeated back some things that I, I didn't say any of that. I didn't say any of that. I don't know. I wish we could listen back to it. I, you know what? I, I see why Why when you be in relationships, it don't go your way sometimes. <laughs> you, you literally heard, I just said that talk for a minute and a half, and you heard something completely different. I didn't, I didn't say anything about Brock Purdy leading them to the Super Bowl. I didn't say they didn't need uh, um, uh, uh, their, their starting quarterback. Jimmy I didn't G. Say any of that. What I said was this is a team that's built on defense. They've allowed seven points in the second half of the last five weeks. That's what's going to happen in the postseason? I said, I said if he cannot turn the ball over, right, he has enough talent around him to where they won't all of a sudden the wheels fall off. That's what I said. I didn't say anything about the Super Bowl. He's the next coming. Uh, they don't need – I didn't say that. What were you talking about? All right, well, let's, let's, let's move on. We'll agree to disagree. Yeah, we'll be here all day. Because, Chris, um, you heard what I heard. He was painting a rosy picture <laughs> as if Brock uh, Purdy uh, was, uh, was the next coming of something. Go ahead. Let's, get, let's move on. Last night, Ephraim, uh, great sensational comeback. But overall, I wasn't impressed with Tampa. I, the NFC is down, but do you give Tampa – any legitimate chance uh, in the playoffs in the NFC? I, 
look, as long as you got somebody named uh, Thomas Wayne Brady uh, throwing the ball, man, I, I it, it 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 blew my mind. With three minutes left to go in that game, Tampa Bay was down by thirteen points. Three minutes left to go in the game, and they end up winning that game by one point. It, that blew my mind, but it let the league and it let everyone know that as long as Tom Brady has a shot, as long as he's breathing, he's dangerous. And if they, if the Bucks find their way into the playoffs, he's going to make a lot of people nervous. Let he's me ask: are, are, are they are they going to the NFC Championship game? I don't want to hear about nervous. That's not in the standard. Mm-hmm. Tell me where they're going to. Are they going to the NFC Championship game, Ephraim? So you want me to say something so you can argue? I no, know, I want you. I know I'm, what it's like to be baited. No, making, making. Twenty years. I know what it sounds like to be baited into an argument. I'm, I'm not doing that with you, man. <laughs> well, he from? Let me. Let me. How do we, go, from, how do we go from making the playoffs to the NFC Championship game? In I got to ask you this. All right, because you're talking about what does making noise mean? That does Ephraim, that means nothing. So when you say, hold on, hold on, let me tell you. They have an opportunity to win playoff games. Here here we go. That's what it means. Making noise, making noise is you're not committed either way. This is what former athletes who get into this business do all the time. Oh, all, they, they, hold on, on hold on, on hold on. You, you paint a scenario where I've you're not doing, hooked I've in. I've been doing this part of the business longer than I was a professional athlete. I, 25 but years on my resume, okay? Don't insult me with... I'm not insulting you. Do. I'm giving you. I'm giving you what I, what I've talked about for for years. You're non-committal to anything. What you're saying when you say someone can make noise that if they don't win, you're not committed to the Bucks, and if they win, you could come back and go see what I to- I told you. So so all I'm asking you is, will they make it to the NFC Championship game? That's all I'm asking. I, I I'm not trying to paint that, you I don't know if Minnesota will make it to the NFC Championship game. So you don't know. What are you talking about? Ephraim, I I want to ask you this. Why do teams week in, week out, after shutting down an opponent for 45 minutes, or actually more than that, for for 55 minutes? Tell me. Why do they go prevent at the end of the – why not just stick with what you've done to to hold them to three points in 57 minutes? You know what? I wish, I, as a former offensive player, I wish I knew the answer to that. I've been on the other side of those all of a sudden. You know, I, I believe I lost the game. We were up by 13 with, with two minutes left in the game playing against Peyton Manning, and I, I believe we lost that game. So I, I myself have that same question. Like, what are you guys doing all of a sudden? To where people are wide open in the middle of the field, no <laughs> one putting any pressure on the quarterback. I I hate that. I would be like, yo man, blitz him, get him off this spot, right. do whatever it takes. It's you the can't dumbest have thing. Fourteen points in three minutes. Right. I'm sorry. I, I don't get it, man. That's the type of stuff that that just makes you be like, what the? That's ridiculous. At yeah, least that, for the that, first that's touchdown. Who watching that game. Right, at least with a first touchdown, go regular. They probably would have held them, to be honest. They probably win that game if they stick with their regular defense. Finally, me and Ephraim agree on something, okay? Cause hey, I first agree of all, with Rob, you need a hug, but I don't know what's going on in your life, man. I don't but need a hug. He in a bad mood. Did something happen earlier yeah, today? Why I gotta be? Why gotta be in a bad, be in a bad mood? What are you uh, talking some, about? This why sister gotta, he was interested in. Spurned him or something. I don't well, know. Well, that's every day, Chris. I don't know. That's every day. Hey, Rob, Rob, what's her name, man? What's her name? Shaquita Sha- Sha- ain't having it. Shaquita ain't having it. Shabli. All right, that's our man, Ephraim Salah. Great stuff, man. Man, I, I love y'all, man. Y'all be safe out there. All, All right, good. Brother. All Peace. good.